So hello and welcome to another lecture in Cubespare Cloud Native uh, Code Series by TakeLatest.net. So far we had covered a lot of things like uh, course overview objectives, then about Cubespare, then introduction to on Google Cloud Platform, basically installation on Google Cloud Platform, then AWS, Microsoft Azure, then we had covered Cubespare capabilities, then we had covered multi-cluster management. Now in this lecture, we'll talk about cluster administration. Basically, uh, this lecture is regarding node management, cluster status monitoring, application resource monitoring, cluster wide alerting and notification, cluster management. Okay, so here you can see that our uh, VM is already running and this is the UI of uh, Cubespare. Okay, so in this lecture, we'll basically cover cluster management, uh, like uh, the cluster administration okay so click on platform and here you can see the cluster management so click on cluster management option so basically uh, uh, let's start it uh, with node management so nodes are the backbone of your kubernetes cluster running the application and services that power your environment effective node management involves overseeing their life cycle health and configuration then life cycle management this include tasks such as provis provisioning new nodes scaling existing one and uh, decommissioning nodes that are no longer needed. Tools like Kubernetes built-in cubectl command can help automate many of these types. Then health monitoring. Regularly, regular, uh, regularly check the health of nodes using matrices from, from tools like Prometheus or the Kubernetes da dashboards. Look out for node status indicators like ready, not ready or unknown. So basically here you can see the resources usage. Okay, so uh, our 41% of CPU is usage then 15% memory, 22% pod, 45% are discord. Here you can see the tools like cubectl, cubeconfig. Okay, if you like see here the top five uh, for resource users. So if you click on view more, so you can see this overview and all the things. Okay, so let's go back. And uh, then uh, what we have to do next, if you click on notes, so this is a cluster node. Okay. So here you can see the uh, our one node is running, which is Cubesphere one VM. The status is running, the role is worker, CPU uses, memory uses, all things are here like ports and allocated memory. If you click on this node, okay, so wait, yeah. If you click on this node, node so you can see that uh, our node name is Cubesphere one VM, then 40%. 40.59% is CPU uses, 15.47% is memory uses. Okay, so a lot of things are here. Like if you click on ports, so these are some ports like Qvectal admin and other things, then metadata here, monitoring, and then uh, the events. So a lot of stuff are here. Then go if you go back, uh, so here you can see the uh, CRDs, storage, and then we are talking about monitoring and alerting. Okay, so if you click on cluster stats, so you can see the node online status is like online node is one, all node is uh, one. Okay, and this is the CPU memory, core memory uh, and disk ports. All things are here like API server request latency, then scheduling, lot of stuff are here. Then if you check the component status, we're talking about lot of tools like uh, uh, the Prometheus and Grafana. If you click on monitoring, so 10 by 10 here, and uh, the tool is Prometheus here. Okay, so if you click on Kubernetes, so these are some Kubernetes things. And if you click on Kubesphere, then these are KS console, and the status is healthy, healthy, healthy. If you click on Kubernetes, same here, status is healthy, healthy. Then if you check the monitoring, so same here, the status is healthy. And here you can see the Prometheus. Prometheus tools are using. Okay, then if you go back again, so here you can see the control manager, Kubernetes scheduler, a lot of things are there. Link physical resource monitoring. If you check the physical resource monitoring, so here you can see the CPU uses and uh, disk uses, memory uses, a lot of things. If you're talking about API server monitoring, so here, here you can see the let, uh, request latency, request per seconds, then scheduled, uh, scheduled and monitoring and uh, resource uses ranking so a lot of things are here then application resources so this is the basically the application resources the services ingress ports if you check the ports so these are some ports here okay uh, close this one then uh, custom monitoring here also if you want to create a custom monitoring so you can uh, like create a custom monitoring also then uh, if you talk about application workload so these are some workloads here and all are running then if you're talking about jobs so here there is no jobs if you're talking about ports 
so here you can see that there are a lot of ports are also there then services and then ingress so if you're talking about system components so these are some system components nodes cluster nodes so this is basically about the uh, uh, cluster basically Kubernetes cluster administration okay so like cluster status monitoring so we are already talking about monitoring here you can see the uh, monitoring and other things okay so let's uh, let's let's talk about cluster status monitoring so continue monitoring is by two for understanding the overall health and performance of of your kubernetes cluster okay so if you cust click on custom monitoring so uh, there is uh, give me a minute i will check then cluster status okay so here you can see a lot of things like the node only status this like uh, it, it is healthy or not health status a lot of things if you click, check the configuration parts so config maps are there then system components are there okay uh, this is the project basically and status is active so uh, let's let's uh, uh, talk about next thing basically the resource utilization okay so i will already uh, show you the resource utilization thing give me a minute i will check uh, cluster uh, not online status then uh, resource utilization where is stores resource utilization cluster roles this is cluster roles then this is cluster members okay okay uh -huh. give me a minute if you click notes cluster notes this is cluster notes and if you check this uh, so you can see the uh, like uh, the cluster nodes and other things okay and go back and if you check the system components kubernetes these are the things yeah yeah here you can see that the system if you're talking about system components okay so here you can see the status is healthy if you check the kubernetes so here you can also see the status is healthy then kubespace status is healthy okay so cluster health monitor essential components such as etc the control plan uh like uh, if you're talking about etcd okay so etcd is the thing wait uh, i will show you uh where is etc Okay, give me a minute. Uh, mm -hmm. Cluster status. Yeah, you can see the ETCD. Okay, so basically, uh, like uh, ETCD, the control plane and Kubelet, uh, Kubelet services to ensure they are running smoothly. Regular health checks can prevent potential downtime. Application resource monitoring. Okay, so this is the application resource monitoring so uh, implement tools like prometheus and to scrape matrices from your application this will give you insight to their performance and help identify any resource constraint logging use centra centralized logging solutions such as elastic search logs and kivana to collect and analyze log for you from your application so this will add interviewing and performance analysis okay so uh, like uh, these are the things like if you're talking about cluster settings so cluster settings is the thing basically like uh, uh, configuring a cluster to meet specific operational requirements is vital via success authentication and authorization set up base roles rbac to manage OS to access your cluster what action they can perform so like in conclusion like effective kubernetes cluster administration uh, encompass multiple facets from managing node lifecycle to monitoring application performance and setting up alerts by employing best practices utilizing the right tools you can ensure your cluster operates efficiently and reliably so thank you for your attention i hope you find this i, I hope you find uh, this lecture insightful so like uh, don't forget to like uh, social love and support don't forget to uh, share with your network so bye bye we will meet in next video